Welcome to Thinking Global, a new YouTube series in which we explore current issues. Today we will discuss the state of vaccine production in Africa. How well is the region coping with the fight against COVID-19? To overcome the pandemic, all countries, rich and poor, must have access to sufficient vaccines. Europe has been able to vaccinate over 73% of its population with at least two doses, but Africa is lagging behind with only 22.5% fully vaccinated. To turn this situation around, there are ambitious global initiatives such as COVAX. COVAX was started in 2020 by the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, the Vaccine Alliance Gavi and the World Health Organization alongside UNICEF, a key delivery partner. The European Commission and the European Investment Bank also support this initiative. COVAX has enabled the delivery of 1.79 billion donor-funded doses of the COVID-19 vaccine from the Global North to 146 countries in the Global South. The countries that have most benefited from this initiative are in Sub-Saharan Africa, where over 99% of vaccines are imported. But to increase global vaccination rates, we need more vaccines to be produced in the countries that need them most. To understand where we stand with this challenge, I'm about to connect with Ramon Inyaraja, head of the European Investment Bank office in Dakar, since Senegal is currently the country leading COVID vaccine production in Africa. Hi Ramon. Countries in Africa face a challenge to get enough vaccines for the population. What is the situation in Senegal? Hello, Heidi. With pleasure, this situation in Senegal is uh, critical or quite critical. They are facing uh, several challenges. First of all, the availability of vaccines and uh, also the outreach, the geographical outreach of uh, the population which is another critical challenge in a geogra geography like Senegal. And thirdly, cultural barriers that people do face when deciding whether or not to get vaccinated. How is Senegal dealing with this problem? Well, Senegal is tackling the problems by making vaccines more available and definitely in identifying suitable platforms where to build uh, vaccination manufacturing plants. So Senegal looked around and identified uh, Institut Pasteur de Dakar, an existing high-skilled institution with the right people and the circumstances to uh, build their own manufacturing plan. And immediately EIB associated with this um, uh, platform, with this project, and we're supporting uh, financially this uh, new facility that uh, is uh, under construction. Now we're talking about a facility that is aiming to produce 300 million doses of vaccines per year. And what is happening in other countries? How are African countries coming along? Well, not all countries in the continent have uh, the suitable conditions to produce this kind of manufacturing facilities. When EIB tried to help we identified three candidate countries with the right conditions to have this kind of manufacturing facilities, uh, South Africa, uh, Rwanda and Senegal. EIB is currently working with the three countries in three different platforms. Uh, the front runner is Senegal, but uh, the bank is supporting in the three countries similar platforms for similar solutions to make uh, vaccines uh, available by producing in Africa the vaccines for Africa. Thank you very much for your time, Ramon. If you wish to know more about vaccine production initiatives financed by the European Investment Bank in Africa, do visit our website. You will find the relevant links in the description below. That is all from me for now. Thank you and see you in our next episode. <laughs>